Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back today with the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner Challenge and we are on week 18. It is a mouthful. So today's prompts are something that emits heat and I thought about this stencil I have from Tim Holtz and it reminds me of uh, sun rays so I thought I'll use that for something that emits heat then the next one is a path or a road and I looked at this very cute little book from Mary Inglebright it's a book of days and it is very cute it's from 1991 and it has a full page illustration and then the week uh, so there must be what 52 illustrations in here with each week of the year so I was thinking this one maybe but the Sun there but then the next one was bath and I thought what am I gonna do with that so anyway I'm thinking this book is just perfect and I might just take it apart today after I'm done here because if you cut the white edge off this is a perfect journaling card like I'm going to use this image so I cut the white edge off already and so now you have the back and you can write on the back and it's just a tad little bit bigger than a postcard so it will fit in any journal so that is Mary Inglebright book of days and then something that splashes well that just covered that as well so this was just a better option than the one with the Sun and white space will work on that a uh, form blank or fold so I got this yellow invoice because I thought it would go nice with that and with the Sun rays <clears throat> and then a bonus is a ticket and I have these tickets that I got from a lady in the UK um, on Instagram and I think I used the blue ones last week, so I'm thinking the green. I'm always trying, if I find something like that, to use it in my own journal before I've used all of it in journals that I'm going to sell. So, you know, I have a little reminder of all the wonderful things that I have found. And then, okay, the bonus is a ticket. So, let's start working on the layout for today. And I thought we'll go quickly through the layout so far. So here I need to add some pockets because I am going to add this in the book, all the prompts. So I, I didn't want the prompts on my collage layouts. And as you can see mine, I do a double spread layout if you're new. And I try to fill both pages like crazy. So sometimes it is very busy. It's more sometimes like an art journal, but it is still collage if you ask me. So yeah, there's the first 17 layouts and I will add the playlist in my description box if you've missed some of these weeks or if you wanna go through them again, they are on the playlist and that link will be in the description box. So let's start with what are we going to do on for week 18. So I was thinking this yellow invoice will cover the background on this side and then with the sun rays over here and the little girl if I have her kind of going over to this page because I do need to cover th two pages and then all I have left is the ticket, which is just this big. So I will need to fill in with flowers or butterflies or other things, and that would be easy. And then I just need to decide what I'm going to do on this side of the page. So let's start, I'm thinking, by gluing this one in and make more room here just gonna use my glue stick and 
and cover it in glue. We've had the most amazing days for the past week. It's just those perfect, perfect spring days. It, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, it's not too warm, it's not too cold. I, if you, I still wear long sleeves, but that is no indication that it's cold because I am always cold. So. I will sometimes, even in the middle of summer, wear long sleeves and definitely pants because, like I say, I am always cold, so I do not even pretend. I just dress as if it is spring, even in the summer. Okay, so our invoice is glued down. And so then I was thinking, oh, we need another, just stretch this invoice a little bit. I'm using a altered book, so I tore some of the pages out. And um, where's my wet wipe so I can get rid of some of this glue? I tore some of the pages out and then glued them together. So my pages are thicker because I knew I might want to use gesso and that kind of thing on my pages. So let's just add, where did I put my spreader? I had everything out here, oh there. Um, let's add some gesso on this side because I was thinking that could be our white space and this is just, maybe I should just give it a quick shake. Um, this is, which brand is Taylor and Rowney? I can't remember, it's acrylic gesso where I might have just bought this at Walmart. I don't think it's particularly fancy brand because for what I'm doing, I don't need anything fancy. Just if you do use this brand, make sure that you clean the lid. The gesso dries fast because the other one I had, this is my second bottle, the other one, I started struggling opening that lid, so I had to totally um, screw off the whole thing every time I wanted to use it. So I'm just thinking we might need a little bit more. Whoops, that might be too much. Who knows? Whoops, yep. Okay. I'm going to put some of it back. Okay. I just wanted to look to hide some of this, the writing, so I have a white space here. And maybe I'll add some gesso here as well. And now I do need a little bit more, just because I want to just repeat it here, the texture. And like I say, my this might be a little bit more art journaling than just a collage, but I still consider it a collage. So I am just, where did I put my wipe? I need a little bowl on my table where I put the wipe because the wipe, sometimes I use two and three and that's just a waste. Okay, so now I am going to dry this and then I'll come back. I won't let you sit here while I dry this because I did add it on pretty thick and um, I definitely think it needs some drying time before I add anything else, so I'll be back. Everything is dry and I was thinking before I add the sun, I might just add just some blue around here with water, water paints just to, just to bring a little bit of detail around there. So let's see how this looks and I just want not a lot of blue, just and it's just coming down this way. 
I just kind of want it to blend in and maybe we'll add some here with just a lot of water when the gesso helps with adding the blue or the watercolors I didn't do gesso on here but I think it should be fine not like I'm wetting it too much okay just something like that I thought okay that should be enough and it should dry pretty fast I'm hoping so maybe I do not need to dry that maybe I can do my sun and hopefully by the time the sun is done that will be dry mm. uh, maybe I'll just pick some of this up here where the sun will be yes it's it's dry enough <laughs> I'm going to use um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and it's fossilized amber. And let's find a brush. And this one I think is my brown brush. So I just want to make sure I don't have a lot of brown ink on there. I think it should be fine now but let's just test it because I don't want to contaminate my ink and I do want a nice bright yellow I think it should be fine and then I'll wash this when I'm done and I can use it for my vintage photo again because that's what I'm using the most and maybe I'll just because this doesn't come all the way to the bottom I'm just going to just add some yellow in here just a little bit okay and then do the stencil this or uh, this will be tricky because it's going to overlap and there's a big let's see if we can whoops do that oh come on it's very bumpy my book And the stencil doesn't have to be perfect. I just want the idea of sun rays in here. And I'm not going to try, I'm going to try to fill that bump in there maybe with a brush or something. It looks good really good I like it but I'm going to wonder if I have a smaller brush yeah this one is in oh no this one's not gonna work there there's a little one I just want to go and see if it works I'm not sure might need a stiffer brush Maybe this one. Let's see if I can get in there. I just want to fill that little bit of a gap there. Yeah, it looks better. It's not perfect, but it looks okay. So these two needs to be washed. Okay, so that's that. Let's decide, make other decisions. So this is my little go and I have the ticket here do I want the ticket there I don't think to, or do I want the red on the mm, we'll, we'll decide okay and then I have some then I have some there's other tickets and labels here that we can use. Just this little corner came up. Well, I see that. Let's glue that down. Okay. I have other things here that I I was thinking maybe I can do some flowers kind of just 
and this one needs to be lower I think let's just play around with it a little bit I'm not sure exactly what I want to do we have some pink flowers here I don't want to cover all of that I might have to not have flowers on this side I don't think I like the flowers on that side um, and maybe that is too pink I thought I had a there's the blue butterfly I was thinking I had a blue butterfly maybe the blue butterfly can go but I yeah otherwise it's too top heavy okay the blue butterfly can go there I somehow do need to break that up a little bit I'm thinking maybe we can have a crazy duck here just to break it up she's splashing as well I just saw the duck here yeah maybe we'll do that I actually like that okay it's kind of let's do that so we'll have the flowers here the duck here this is she splashing. We have something, two things splashing. And the flowers, something like that. This on the bottom here. I do want my ticket to show. The butterfly. Hmm, okay. And maybe we can add. Let me just see what else I have here. Oh, I have these flowers that I've been trying to use. I've had them for the longest time. These and these ones. I do like this bow sticking out here. I need to do more things that stick out on my journal I think maybe we'll do something like that I have put these flowers on my desk and hopefully in the next week or so I can use some of them because I've had them probably for more than 10 years it's recollections I don't even know if they are still probably maybe that's the Michaels brand I'm not sure um, but I've had them forever so it's time to use them maybe we can layer this one up it's more than one flower okay layer this one up and then oh these are very oh they are double okay let's see what's going on with this one as well I think this one is double too no this one isn't weird anyway there's another flower and maybe we'll do the red and pink maybe that one's too dark there's different colors maybe a pink with a red here something like that and we can always maybe add some of the little ones in here as if it's part okay we'll do that okay so I'm thinking the first thing I need to do is make room <laughs> um, the other thing I have is some washi tape we can okay let me take this off and then glue the ticket on first okay and maybe the ticket I'll glue on with some let me just see where it needs to go ticket I'm going to glue the ticket with some art litter glue just because it's been in a roll and it's not totally flat and it is a thicker cardstock I 
needs to go something like that. And then her, I might just glue down with art glitter glue as well because it's a shiny, not high gloss, but it is a f like a slippery kind of paper. And I'm also gluing onto this gesso, so that's always a thing. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get everything down. So I might get a little distracted for a minute here because the art glitter glue dries fast and I put it down not straight but it's all good. Okay, there. Got it down. Oh, she is so cute in this garden. Okay, so now I thought maybe we could add some of the washi tape in here and I want to tear the bottom so it's not all straight lines maybe here washi tape go go away and then maybe some here behind where the butterfly will be just need to oh I should have probably I thought these would stick but they are sometimes a little temperamental so let's see if I have this one here should I just add this one here just felt like it needed a little something here and then we'll add this one whoops this one here so I'm I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties I looked up and my phone stopped recording because it was was overheating um, so the only thing you missed was me gluing down this flower, so nothing big, but I don't think it's warm enough today for my phone to be overheating due to the weather, so that's not good news. Anyway, let's keep going. We'll have the butterfly here. We had the flowers here, if I'm not mistaken. And I have to say, I do like this ribbon. I think I said it. I'm not sure if that was part of the recording. So I'm not sure. But I have this green ribbon sitting here. And I'm wondering if I should add that on the edge. I don't really want to add it. It actually looks better on this side. But because I do want to leave that as white space. Thinking I should add more things that hangs out at the edge of my pages. I do like that. Maybe we will do that. I know it's just next to the ribbon from last week, but oh, and then I wanted to add some of the little pink flowers in here just to repeat sorry I'm just these flowers are stuck together again otherwise they're very thick just repeat those flowers from there maybe just three hmm. and I think that is it that I like I say I want to leave as white space this one is my splashing so let's start gluing down and I need a little bit of glue underneath the washi here already and maybe it's because the page aren't dry enough for the washi glue to adhere I'm not sure it's stuck really well on that side 
So this little swan was just a, a book, a swan that I cut from a bird book. Can't remember which one. It's been a while. I do have a lot of fussy cutting to do, but I have a craft injury. I my thumb, my fingers, especially my thumb on this hand do not want to do any cutting anymore. I've been fussy cutting and doing all kinds of things with my hands the past two, three weeks and I think it just finally decided if you're not stopping, I'm stopping. So yeah, I'll need to give it a bit of a rest for a while for sure. Um, a butterfly. Oh, no. Which way do I want the butterfly? I actually want that part on top of the lace. So maybe I'll just put the lace down first. And now the other thing is um, using this bottle of glue. Oh. My thumb does not like that at all at the moment, the fabric tag. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, and definitely I'm going to concentrate on adding more little things hanging out of my journal. I really like even though it's a collage journal, uh, I, normally I'm not adding too many three-dimensional things, but I do like that. And I just have some glue seeping through. And for all of you who hasn't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. It definitely helps my channel. And then welcome to all the new subscribers. And thank you to everybody who's been here for a while. I really appreciate all your support. I am still busy with the 100 day project and will be busy until... I think the end of May I'll have to I haven't even looked at how long it's gonna take I think it's about 30 days a little bit more than 30 days at the moment so we're getting there I have made a lot of ephemera and I am very happy with that so I can't remember where I had that little flower, but it's going down over there. Okay, so that is it, I think. Let's just go through the prompts quickly because I have forgotten prompts in the past. It won't be a first. And I'm thinking I'm done and then I forgot to add something to the page. Okay, let's just see where is my list. Too many things now on the table here. Okay, that needs to go in there. So I, uh, prompt number one is something that emits heat and I have the sun here. And uh, then number two is a path or a road. And it's in this little picture and then something that splashes are the little watering can as well as my swan here. I think it's a swan, maybe it's a duck, I'm not sure. Then white space, I literally left a, a white space there. And then a form blank or filled in, that's the background here in the back. And then a bonus is a ticket, so I have the ticket there. 
Okay, we have everything. Another week of Marguerite Muller done. Week 18. Sure, week 18. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. And if you're following along with the 100 day project, I'll see you again tomorrow with that. Uh, have a great weekend. Bye.